This week's episode is brought to you by Capital Financial Advisory Group for all your retirement needs. Well, hello everyone, it's Coach Pete. This week on the Financial Safari, we're gonna talk about financial confusion. How confused are you about the financial world? If you're not, you're one of the few. But we're gonna talk about mortgage rates. They've been going crazy. The whole financial world. How do you get that lifetime income? How do you get a pension check delivered to your mailbox every single year without ever worrying about it running out of money? We call it the Never Never Plan. And folks, we're gonna be right back in a minute and we're never gonna leave you confused. Broadcasting from coast to coast, it's the Financial Safari with your host, Coach Pete Deruda. You'll hear from some of the nation's top financial professionals. So stick around and find out how to make it through the jungle of the financial world, right here on the Financial Safari. Folks, welcome into the Financial Safari. Coach Pete, you've seen me on the radio probably, or heard me on the radio, seen me on TV. You've got Mr. Skip Dyer joining us today, a very good buddy of mine and a mortgage professional for almost 30 years. Skip. That's right. Long time. <laughs> you know, it's pretty funny. We've known each other for like almost 20 now. It's like time flies. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Greg Barry and over here. Greg, I haven't known you for 20 years. I've known you for about five years, I guess. You, time, Give or time, take. Yeah, time does fly <laughs> quickly, huh? Yeah. So today we're going to talk about financial confusion because there, a lot of you out there are confused. I mean, if I wasn't in the financial world, I'd be confused. Inflation? What's inflation? Well, you know, nobody worried about inflation. Well, we haven't seen it in so long. That's yeah. exactly right. It could have yeah. stayed gone as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> long lost friend or foe. <laughs> right. Inflation. Greg, uh, we, we talk about the income that people need through retirement. And most people out there in TV land have no idea there are ways they can secure their money and make sure the money never goes away, never runs out, and will always give them a monthly or yearly paycheck all the way through retirement. How important is that? It's, it's, it's a critically important yep. component in, in your financial picture, especially in retirement, yeah. It really is, because we always say, I'm writing a new book called Financial Fill-Up playbook and we never want to be if you've ever been riding down the road and we all have been riding down the road and maybe you look over to the right and there's somebody walking down the, the road with a gas can right. <laughs> you know what that means that means they were pushing their luck uh playing gas station roulette roulette i, I call it because you're you're you were saying oh, i can wait to the next exit maybe gas is cheaper down there and all of a sudden the car goes pop, 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 and, and runs out of gas it happened to me before have you ever run out of gas? <laughs> I have not. Now, mine wasn't my fault. The gas gauge wasn't working. Okay. <laughs> it was a Cadillac, and it said I had a half tank. <laughs> but when the guy came, he, to, to, the AAA guy came to repair it, he said, well, you're out of gas. I said, well, it says I have a half tank. He said, every now and then, that little ball that's inside the tank gets stuck. It's like a floating little ping pong ball in there kind of thing. It's smaller. But it's supposed to float up and down, and that's what tells you if, the, uh, if you're out of gas or not. Wouldn't it be great if we had a gauge for our retirement plans. A gauge telling you how full you are, uh, how to fill up the plan so you have lifetime income you never have to worry about. Greg, you actually have that kind of tool in front of you. I, I, I'm looking at it right now. Yeah. It's an it's a, it's a incredible plan that we worked up. Now, I think w later on the show, we, we, before the show, we drew out numbers and, and uh, money amounts and ages, and Greg put a plan together. We're going to go through that hypothetical plan based on the numbers he, grew out, he drew out of our Uncle Sam hat. Sounds we have pictures of the Uncle Sam hat, and Greg was drawing the numbers out. So it just makes it fun in the financial world because we kind of know what we're talking about on this side. And on the mortgage side, Skip, what are you, you going to tell people who maybe had contacted you a couple months ago when rates were around 2 right. and saying, hey, we're at about 3% now, and we're thinking about refinancing. And now they call back because they procrastinate. You know, procrastination is a trait that we all share. That's oh, right. Yeah. Some of us more than others. But they call you back and skip. We're ready to do that loan. Can you, can you still get us two percent? What would you have to tell them? Well, it's bad news. Uh, you know, rates are uh, uh, well over twice that high now, and uh, uh, we don't know where the peak is. We don't know if we have peaked or if that's still to come. But it's it's quite a uh, uh, an abrupt and somewhat surprising rise in rates. You know, anytime the Fed gets this active, you expect rates to move up a bit. But yeah, uh, they really uh, they really move. But up. we have seen a spike like I've not seen the rapidity of it in, in my uh, 30 years of doing mortgages. You know, and of course we blame different things, that's what the economists do, but what do you think the real cause of, of this skyrocketing interest rate environment, especially for the bad interest rates like credit cards, mortgage rates, 
car loans. Those are bad. <laughs> Those are bad. We want them low. They're going out of control on the upside. How, right. What's caused this? What's the main catalyst? You well, it, it is exactly what you alluded to uh, in the opening. It's yeah. the inflation worry. You know, if, if you are looking at uh, interest rates, uh, mortgage rates are based on the price of mortgage-backed bonds, and right. if you are going to be buying those bonds uh, and uh, uh, you're going to pay 3% and inflation is 2%, you've got a 1% net return after, uh, after inflation. Well, now if inflation goes to 7 or 8%, well, you're losing money on bonds, kind of like putting your investment money in the bank account, as you've said many times, Pete, losing money safely, maybe, but, you know. No fun, isn't it? It's the same so, thing, right. Yeah, and so we're seeing this, and, and, the, and the, the question people keep asking me is, well, Coach, when is it going to stop? Because, I mean, it's skyrocketing. It's going up like a rocket. Absolutely. Uh, when is it going to, you know, when you watch the rocket go up and then it, it starts coming down, then the parachute comes out and it lands safely, when are we going to see it start coming down? Well, I, I wish I knew the answer to that. Uh, uh, you know, my you don't have a crystal ball? Is, no, no. I, I think you've got one in your office. <laughs> I do. But, not work, <laughs> then the batteries are dead. <laughs> no, but it's 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 uh, it's shocking. Yeah. What's happened here? And for no rhyme, but you know, I didn't really realize it until uh, I I heard you say something on the radio, and so I called you, and you said, Coach, yeah, they're over 5% now, right. the rates are. I, I'm, a st I'm a stunned. I yeah. just heard that, because I don't pay attention to them. Well, know. I got my, my mortgages taken care of. You helped me yeah. take care of mine. No closing costs. We're going to talk about later on the show the difference between a no-closing-cost mortgage and one where you have to pay closing costs right. and, and the break-even numbers and all that. It's, it's going to be shocking, folks. Uh, if you haven't researched a no-closing-cost mortgage, that's why we have Skip on here to educate us on the beauty of a no closing cost mortgage, and it really does make a lot of sense. Greg, you're going to learn some stuff too, I bet, on this. Oh, I'm looking forward yeah. to it. Yeah. And, and the thing also is, is if you look at the acceleration of the value of the properties now, right. the consumer's getting hit twice now. Yeah. Yeah. So being prepared, we always talk about the, the title of my first book, The Financial Safari, was Be Prepared, Not Surprised. Right. Well, how could someone prepare for, well, here, I'm, I'm going to tell you what I think, and then I'm going to see if you agree. How do you prepare for an interest rate environment that's out of control? Well, number one, you use interest rates on your, in your favor. How do you do that? Well, you don't do a variable rate mortgage. Right, that's for sure. And maybe some of you have one. This will hopefully be a lesson you learn because, and not, I'm not happy you're learning it, but I hope you don't repeat it again is what I'm saying. Right. Variable rate mortgages, they, they could give you a, a rate even lower than what your neighbor had back in the day. The problem is it was only good for one year, three year, five year, seven, whatever it is. So did, how many variable rate mortgages have, have you seen lately when people came in to see you? I have not provided anybody a variable rate mortgage probably in about six or seven years. Yeah, that's when rates were higher, so you're totally right. getting a little lower. Right. When they were low, what, what was the incentive for anybody to offer someone a a variable rate mortgage when they could have got a fixed rate mortgage for about 2%. Well, there's there's a lot in my industry where folks are just trying to get a deal done. Generate know, commissions. They, right, right, that's exactly yeah, right. And yeah. uh, uh, if you, you know, the uh, people are fixated on interest rates. One of the oh, yeah. things we talk about with the no closing cost loan is that there's no interest rate that means anything until you know what the costs are that are associated with it. <laughs> And, uh, uh, you know, but people will say, oh, I got this great interest rate, and then, uh, you know, they've paid some, you know, astronomical amount in fees to get that rate. Well, that's not as good a deal as maybe, uh, you know, a slightly higher rate without as many fees attached. But this is the whole thing about the adjustable rate loans. If they come in with a little bit lower rate, that's even more eye-popping than, uh, you know, the recent fixed rates that we have. It's like paying $2,000 for a book on how to find a free ounce of gold. Right, <laughs> right. <laughs> Look, the free gold I got. Well, you paid right. $2,000 for it. What is gold an ounce? $2,000? That's right. But it's still free. I found it. <laughs> I'm a but that's about what it's like, isn't that's it? Right. Look at this that's great right. interest rate that I found. Well, you paid a lot of money for that, that lower rate a lot that's of times. That's exactly right. But it just, it's baffling to me that people even thought about trying to get a lower interest rate when interest rates were already very low and there was no need to pay for it at all. And, and so let's go, now we're getting into a different topic. I like to segue myself into things. Right. But the difference between a cost mortgage and a no-cost mortgage. Because a lot of people hear about it and they say, well, they, they, unfortunately, as there is in anything in this world, when there's something good, scam artists come and they, they do the wrong thing using the right name. So a lot of people got what they thought was a no, not from you, but from right. somebody out there, no closing cost mortgage where they just took the closing cost and worked it right into the loan. Right. What's a true no closing cost mortgage? Right. Well, a, no, a true no closing cost mortgage has a slightly higher interest rate than a loan that you would get if you paid those fees for. Yep. In exchange for that higher interest rate, the lender 
pays your closing costs for you. So we're not rolling the costs into the mortgage. <laughs> we're not financing them over however long you're going to have your mortgage outstanding. We actually pay those costs, which could be three, four, five thousand dollars uh, and it's just all done through a slightly higher interest rate. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've took I've, over the years, I've taken advantage of that time after time. Sure. Started at 8%, then 6%, then 4%, and then 2.99, 2.99, Greg. I walked into that on, on, on my mortgage with Skip, and I'm very happy about that. Oh, no yeah. closing costs. Didn't cost me any money to refinance over and over again. That, and that's the great thing about it. Yeah. And when you see rates where they are right now, this is exactly why you want to look at a no closing cost loan. Because if you look at uh, mortgage rates over the last 20 years, about a third of that time, they've been under 4%. So when you've got rates that are over 5% now, why would you pay to get an inflated interest rate when there's a reasonable chance? You know, nobody knows what's going to happen with interest rates for sure. We don't know that. But uh, uh, there's a reasonable chance that we'll see rates come back down uh, to something below these levels. And then with a no-cost loan, you just refinance it. You're not having to pay those costs to get that lower rate. Well, couldn't it be Makes argued sense. then that a no closing cost mortgage is a variable rate mortgage in the positive direction? Well, that's right. In other words, every time the <laughs> rates go down, you get to take advantage of They go up, you never go up, you stay where you are. That's so right. That's a good sell point. Now, if someone wants to find out, Ellie, a lot of people are watching, trying to find out about a mortgage world. Uh, maybe this first time they heard about a true no closing cost mortgage. How can they get in touch with you? Well, our uh, company is Go No Cost uh, Mortgage, and you can get us at GoNoCost.com. GoNoCost.com. Pretty easy. Go No Cost. Yeah, it really sense. is, and it makes a lot of sense. Greg, we talk about the mortgage mortgage world inside our total retirement plan. We have 22 steps. One of them is mortgage planning. Because when we approach retirement, a lot of people want to have the house paid off completely. I'd argue that it doesn't make sense if you have a very low interest rate to pay the mortgage off. What would you say to that? I, I, I agree with that statement completely because if you have a really low cost mortgage and your money's out there working for you at yep. a higher rate of return, you're basically, you, you, know, you could be up four, five, six percent on that. Well, let's say you owed four hundred thousand dollars on your house, and and you have uh, six hundred thousand dollars in your retirement plan, and you say to retire, well, I, I won't feel comfortable in retirement unless I have the house paid off. All right, so then you reach into your IRA. Oh no! And, and take the four hundred thousand dollars out. Now you take, you got a big penalty in taxes now just to pay the mortgage off. Now you approach retirement after you pay taxes, fees, penalties, and all that. You probably have about $80,000 left in your retirement plan. You're not going to be able to retire now. Now you got to sell your house. <laughs> right, right, right. So folks, don't do just what you hear to, that other people are doing because it doesn't make sense a lot of times. That's why customized planning, Skip, is very, very important. In the mortgage world, the financial world, in the total retirement world, Customizing a plan is vitally important. We are fiduciaries here. We're a fiduciary planning firm. What we'll do here, I think uh, it's about time here to give this offer out. If you are one of the next 10 people who call with at least $200,000 dedicated to retirement, we will put together for you your very own wealth and income plan, which is a total retirement plan. 22 steps we do behind the scenes to make sure that you and your family are not only confident, but taken care of all the way through retirement. Very simple to do, get educated, Many people we talk to are not familiar with what they really have in their, in their financial plan, and they sure don't have a retirement plan. It is not a retirement plan unless you take your financial plan and add an income component that is going to be there for the rest of your life. We call it a never-never plan. You're never going to run out of money, and you're never going to worry about your money. You're going to have a happy retirement. So, folks, all you have to do is call the number you see on the screen. There'll be no cost or obligation. We've seen others charge over $1,000 for this. This is available for you right now. We'll be right back after this. Do you know how much you're paying in fees or commissions with your current plan or advisor? What about unnecessary risk or future tax implications? Sit down with a fiduciary advisor who can help you understand important retirement concepts and so you can make the best decisions for yourself moving forward. We may even be able to answer questions you didn't even know needed to be asked. So if we fall into the rut where we think that everything's fine mm -hmm. and our broker tells us each year everything's fine, yet you're not asking the right questions, how fine are you? And there's five very important questions you have to ask that begin with a W, and there's one that begins with an H. <laughs> That's right. We've got who, what, where, when, and why. Mm -hmm. 
and how. Yeah. But these are things we forget when it comes to the financial world. These are the most important questions. They'll help you identify the UFOs you have in your portfolio, unidentified financial objects. Thomas, you know we don't like those. Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I think it brings up a very good point. Do you find that a lot of people out there may be nervous or have some anxiety and don't want to approach the, the, the five W's and an H just because they're nervous and not sure where exactly they may be going? Great point. I think people are afraid to get the answer. Well, I guess we feel as investors or savers or retire, pre-retirees or even in retirement that if we don't ask the questions, the bad answers won't appear. Can't be afraid. My dad's a college professor. He's been teaching physics for 42 years in the UNC system. And he always would say the dumbest questions are the ones you don't ask. Do you hear that? That's me enjoying my retirement. Traveling around the world to play golf, where I want, when I want, with whomever I want. Even got some customized clubs. Because years ago, I rolled over my IRA with the help of a local trusted advisor. Contact us to get started today. This is a no cost, no obligation retirement review to help educate and enlighten. Folks, welcome back into the Financial Safari. Very enlightening segment there, the first segment. If you didn't see it, if you're just joining us now, don't despair. All you have to do is go to financialsafari.com and you can see the TV show again. You can share, you can even hear our radio show as well, 17 years strong on the radio, nationally uh, aired. So we're going to talk about, so my, my nickname is Coach Pete, and a good coach plans for offense, but he also plans for defense. And there was a saying, I forget which coach said this way back in the day, but the best offense is what? Good a defense. good defense. And so let's talk about, I've got, I've got my new book here. <laughs> it's going to be bigger than this, folks. This is just the table of contents of my new book called The Financial Fill-Up. But we talk about offenses and defense strategies, and I'm going to look at Chapter 6 right now. The first defense is to manage health risks. Now, exercise daily. It's not one of these kind of things. We're not going to tell you what your diet's supposed to be and what exercise and all that because none of us do a good job with that, I think. <laughs> but we're going to talk about things that you can control or things you can add to your portfolio to make sure that health, a health care disaster does not totally derail your, your financial future. Right, Greg? I, I call it wealth care, actually, not health care. Wealth care. And, and there's, there, let me tell you, there's no... Have you trademarked that? <laughs> Is well, it already trademarked? Uh, as of like 15 minutes from now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, not a bad thing. So wealth care. Wealth Let's go. What are the steps that go into a wealth care program? Well, to make sure, first of all, you have at least some sort of catastrophic coverage. Minimal. Minimal catastrophic coverage. Healthcare wise. On the, on the health care so, side. So a heart attack or a stroke or something like that, right? Pre okay. Precisely. Not, not, not if you have a stuffy nose and go to the doctor. No. Think, think you have COVID and he says, it's a cold. It's cold vid. <laughs> 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 By the way, the best day of my life happened the other day where the uh, federal judge said you don't have to wear masks on a plane anymore because I fly a lot and it's no fun wearing that face diaper, not only on a plane but in the airport, especially in the Raleigh airport where I have a bunch of uh, digital billboards of my face there and it has been no fun walking by the digital billboard with my face covered and my picture on the billboard and nobody noticing who I am. <laughs> Still have not had anyone buy me a cup of coffee yet. Tragic. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about this. It's not anything funny. It's not a joking manner. But health care issues do exist in most every family. Oh, oh yeah. And, you know, and, and the thing is, is like right now, because of we had a great market for the past, you know, 10, 15 years, yep. a lot of folks are retiring at the age in their, in their late 50s, early 60s. Yep, which is a lot sooner than, than the, a lot of people retired in the past. Right, which they would walk, they would walk right from their job into Medicare. Yep. So now they have to transition between, between what, the, what they have to their job and into Medicare. I call that the race to Medicare, Coach. Race to Medicare. All right, so from your, from your health care that's supplied by your employer to now health care supplied by the government and you. Right. And then having to supplement that because the government's not going to cover everything. No, A lot no. of people are confused about that. Oh, I'm, I'm 65. The government's taking care of me now. Not if you have money. Right. <laughs> Correct? No, no. no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And so uh, there's a couple different ways of going about it. You know, a couple of them, you know, first of all, the, the best and biggest one is going with the Affordable Health Care Act, also known as Obamacare. 
Uh, however, Obama doesn't like it called that, though, does he? <laughs> no, no, that's why I, I call it both things. You want to know what I call it? No, we can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> but the problem with that is, is, is it has, it has, you have to fall in with the parameters. You have to, you have to make a little bit more or a little bit less, and you, you know, certain if not, numbers. you end up in the donut hole kind of thing. Yeah, right? and, you, yep. and you, you don't qualify for it. So when, when folks do find themselves in that position, sometimes they say, "Well, there's nothing for me. I don't know what to do." And so well, here's a here's a tip: do something. Do something. You know, <laughs> call me. Okay. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know. Well, and, and, and folks, yes. And sorry for a minute, but yep. anytime, if you have any kind of questions, just call the number you see on the screen. By the way, and and we'll we'll make sure to make sure you get handled, and and the person who uh, who can answer your question talks to you. Not someone who doesn't know what they're talking about. Okay. Yeah, well, and I've yeah. written over 700 yeah. plans, so I, I, I think I'm slightly qualified. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so you have to, you know, and I've, I've literally talked to people, and they'll say, well, I looked at it, and it was like three, $400, and it was just too much money for me. And I said, well, how much money. money do you have in your 401k? Well, 300000 yeah. I said, well, there's no quicker way to lose everything you have oh, than right. not have that wealth care yeah. for you right now. So, okay, so Why? Because all, all it takes is, you know, getting T-boned on the car, uh, getting sick, the money the stroke, heart attack, and uh, come well, on. Or what if you T-bone somebody and then you get sued, too? Yeah, so yeah. a lawsuit will go wipe you out fast. Yeah, too. so, you know, any kind of health crisis, if, if you don't have health insurance, you are responsible for every single yeah. penny until you're bankrupt. It's amazing. If you ever seen a hospital bill before, what they itemize out with the aspirins, like five or ten dollars for one aspirin. Right. Bring my own aspirin in there if I have to go. <laughs> right. Oh, it's 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 nuts. Yeah, and so it's not going to get any better. I think no. we can agree with that, right? Oh. Things get things are in our lifetime. Has healthcare got cheaper or more expensive? Oh, it's, it's <laughs> oh, it, it's gotten extremely yeah. expensive. A lot more yeah. people are self-diagnosing now, where they don't even go into the doctor, or they get a little app on their phone where they can talk to a healthcare professional. I don't know. How good that is, or whatever. It's, it's funny. My, my wife Bang has a coffee cup. That's, Make it go up. <laughs> my wife has a coffee cup that says, uh, "Don't don't let your Google search think it's better than my nursing degree." Oh yeah. Well, <laughs> oh yeah. Well, my wife's an attorney, and she yeah. says the same thing about that. I mean, everyone thinks they're an expert. Probably everyone thinks they're a mortgage oh, expert sure, now. Sure. I know people think they're financial experts. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> but. Uh, yeah, so it's very important to make sure you get the right plan to incorporate in with the uh, right health care plan, incorporate it in with your financial yeah. plan, yeah. or it'll destroy your retirement. Oh, forget it. Yeah. So one of the things I wanted to give out is a website, PeteOnDemand.com. Pete, P-E-T, OnDemand.com. You'll see that on the screen as well. What's there? Everything's there. I've got some of the audio books that are for sale and real books that are for sale on Amazon. You can download them. You can download the books that are for sale, the, some of the books that I've written. You can even download the audio books. You can get, you can watch videos on any kind of financial topic there, and you can learn from your own home. There's some cal financial calculators there. There's about everything there you can imagine. A lot of great articles, but all based on what we're talking about here, getting you to and through retirement successfully. That's on PeteOnDemand.com. Very, very important site. And another one for a 100-page book on retirement that can, it shows you how you can customize your retirement plan, go to RetirementGreenPrint.com. RetirementGreenPrint.com. Both of those sites I told you about, there's nothing that is going to charge you on that. Everything there is at no cost. Very, no gimmicks. Everyone's ready, everyone's ready for the shoe to drop. What's the catch? No there catch. is none. The catch is if you don't go there, you might be in a worse place because you might not be properly educated. So fiduciary planning firm, everything we have on our website is designed to make sure you're educated. Nothing's there to fool you. Very, very important. Now, speaking of being fooled, People have been fooled in the mortgage world before, haven't they? Oh, certainly. Uh, they have, uh, <laughs> so no closing costs. Again, tell people again how important it is to make sure that they, they look at. Uh, a lot of people watching are probably buying a house. So many of you watching uh, who have a lower interest rate are saying they're not interested at all in what the mortgage environment is because you've already locked in, and that's great. That's why I wasn't paying attention for a while because right. my 30-year my loan is locked in. I don't have to worry about it. Uh, but for someone who's getting ready to purchase a house, right. What are a couple of the red flags or things to look out for if they're getting, uh, a lot of times, the builder will offer a mortgage to them and they'll give you some incentives to do that. Is that good or bad? Or sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad, I well, guess. Well, it, it can be good, uh, uh, but what you have to be careful of there yeah. that uh, uh, a lot of times those incentives are tied to having to use the mortgage company that yeah. the builder is affiliated with. Yeah. And that may mean that uh, you're not getting the best mortgage terms because the builder is having to offset those with whatever the... So uh, getting a good deal up front may be a bad deal in the long run. Right. But right. again, 
it may be a great deal too. So that's why side by side comparisons, that's what we do in the financial world. That's I know it. that's what you do in the mortgage All world. All day long. Here's plan A, B, and C. Which one is the best? That's right. Go like a financial final four. Here's yeah, the four best right. ones. There we go. <laughs> Let's pick the best one for us. That's right. And so not the best one for our planner or the salesman, but right. for you. That's and that's right. a quick way where you can turn it, where you can find out if somebody is really looking out for your needs or if they're trying to pad their own wallet. Right. Yeah, we've always had taken the approach. We're happy to give a second opinion. Yeah, us too. And second yeah. opinions, you give a lot of second opinions out every single week to oh, people in the financial world. Yeah. And so one of the one things that we notice a lot of times when people do apply for and get that second opinion is that they think they have a retirement plan, Skip. They think uh, everything's fine, a retirement plan. They've got these big balances in their 401ks or big balances in their stock accounts, like nice lump sums. The problem, and it's a big one, the problem is these lump sums don't do any good when you retire. They do real good for one year, take it all out and have a great time, <laughs> but then it's gone. So there's, we have to know with certainty what kind of income we can take from the money we have. And if, the, if it's 100% certain and guaranteed, you'll never outlive that money and you know exactly what your paycheck's going to be. You've got an example. Before the show, we reached into a hat. Greg drew out an age. We were doing a single person this week, Single right? person. And then a number. So what age did you draw out? 62. 62. My and we, age. And we're going to call her a, a widowed female. Mm-hmm. And how much, what was the money you drew out? $1.125 million. That's a lot of money, uh, man. That's, that's some dough, huh? All right. So and she's 62. And when are we going to retire her at? Uh, in three years. At 65 British. traditional age. What kind of income could she get at 65 from this plan? It starts off at $67,842. That's her financial fill-up. Every single year she gets that Every money. Every year, now, guaranteed. But, but wait, there's more. But wait, <laughs> okay. All right, all right. <laughs> what could happen with this nice young lady? Well, if the market goes up, this is the beautiful thing about this plan. Now, it's like my brother worked for the federal government, and he's got his pension, he's getting, we'll say, we'll say hypothetically, $2,000 a month today and 20 years from now. He's yeah, so he's same $2, locked into the number. Yeah. So then inflation beats that number up. What's the good news for this plan? If the market goes up, the amount of money she gets goes up. She gets to share in the gain of the market, even though she's already getting income. So she can get, she can get increases of that. And so what happens if the market does cooperate? And again, if the market goes down, she's not gonna get any less than what she's already getting. Every single year guaranteed for the rest nice. of her life. What, so what happens if, if the market goes, it goes up just a little bit? So let's say the market goes up a little bit. In like what, 5% a year or five, something like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Um, this is actually 5.41%. So 5.41, not, so not, not blue, blue sky. No, no blue sky, this is a realistic number. It's okay. very realistic. So what happens? Well, um, in, on the fifth year, she's now taking in $91,389. Wow. No problems. If the market didn't go up, she still gets the 67, but the market's been going up, so she gets that. What, what about 10 years or 20 years later? But, but here's the thing, Coach. Is if when she hits that, that when she hits that market that number that that stays there. So if, once she gets ninety seven thousand, it never goes back down. Wow! And so what happens ten years? Uh, and uh, let's say on the tenth year, now she's up to one hundred four thousand six hundred and twenty dollars. <laughs> let's say she lives to let's give her age uh, thirty some years in retirement. What's what's the longest she went on the printout? Well, um, thirty something years of retirement. First of all, she would end up having one hundred fifty one thousand three hundred eighty nine dollars a year for the rest of her life. And at what age and, is that? And at the age of 95, 95. she would have taken in four million one hundred and twenty four. And she started with a million, so that's a really good plan. That would get my, what we call the Coach Pete seal of approval. We have a sticker, I put it on. If your plan you come in it looks like that, I'll give you a sticker, you don't have to worry about it. If it's not, we'll show you how you could get the sticker on your plan. Folks, if, if you're interested in your very own total retirement plan, Greg just went over the income aspect of that, that takes the worry out of living your retirement, takes financial termites and eliminates them. No UFOs, no unidentified financial objects here. This is, <laughs> this is uh, guaranteed and, and it's in writing, which is very, very important. This is the plan for you. If you want to see what your numbers would look like, just like the example we did, if you call right now, we'll do it at no cost or obligation as long as you have at least $200,000 dedicated to retirement. Skip Dyer, Greg Berrien, Coach Pete, we'll see you next week right here on the Financial Safari.